What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Uncrowned Otaku and I'm changing up the game a little bit. The new season of Daredevil just came out. Uh, I think it dropped yesterday actually if not today. Depends on when I upload this. Anyways point is when I was watching Daredevil it got me thinking heroes are they doing it wrong versus vigilantes because what I got immediately thinking about was Frank Castle, a.k.a. The Punisher. He's on a mission to, well, it was really revenge, but he is kind of making society better by killing these evil guys that are just wrecking neighborhoods, like laundering money, selling guns off to other people, knee-deep in a drug game. He's eliminating them. He is judge, jury, and executioner. Meanwhile, we got dudes like Daredevil, and I'm not going to spoil anything about the new season. No spoilers. But we got Daredevil who put away Wilson Fisk. That happened in season one. So that's nothing. We on season three here. And some stuff happened, you know, maybe a little bit of regret. Maybe he should have killed him. Who knows? And then I got to thinking, well, what about Batman? Because Batman never kills his enemies. And we've seen the Joker come back and kill one of his Robins. In the Injustice world, the Joker kills Lois Lane, which sends Superman spiraling down the wrong path. We've seen dudes like Solomon Grundy. Uh, we've seen dudes like Lex Luthor. They're, they're causing havoc. Reverse Flash causing havoc. Killing people. And I mainly just really start thinking about Batman. Because this is mainly towards him. Because superheroes, they never want to kill the villain. In Batman's world, he has put away every villain they have. But you know what? They always break out, they keep doing evil, and he puts them away again in Arkham, and then they break out, it's an endless loop. Whereas if it was the Punisher, he would kill him, and you know what? That would save hundreds of thousands of lives. Think about it. Every time the Penguin escapes, every time Mr. Freeze escapes, every time the Joker escapes, you may not see it, but you know people are dying. Every time a building comes crashing down, people are inside that building, people are dying. Every time there's a high-speed chase, I guarantee you, almost fell over just like them people are getting hit by them cars i guarantee you people are dying every day because of their inability to pull the trigger now am i wrong for saying they should be killers i might be but would it be better for society hell yeah the joker wasn't there you know what robin would have still been alive granted he comes back later but he's messed up in the mind red hood a whole whole bunch of stuff like that injustice world wouldn't exist some stuff in daredevil season three would be cool i I really think these good guys need to make the hard decision. The police force is getting corrupted. It's not a good sight. If you, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Batman has been doing the same thing. Daredevil is doing the same thing. Superman is doing the same thing. And they're expecting different results. You're not going to get it. Somebody has to put a permanent end to the crime. Punisher. Red Hood. Y'all my boys. Season 1 of Arrow. That's my boy. You have failed this city. He was putting arrows through people's chest. He was annihilating a list of corrupt people. And you know what? The city was better for it. Until he got soft. Once Oliver Queen got soft, these villains realized he was soft. They weren't scared to keep doing what they were doing. He needs to put arrow through people's chest again. Put him down in the dirt and finish the job, man. Come on. These heroes too soft in the game. There ain't no fire, cause I don't get fire for weak stuff. 